Hi, so for this video, let's solve some combustion on solid fuels using empirical relations and coal analysis. So the problem is, a furnace is fired with subbituminous coal containing 10.3% moisture, 34% volatile combustible matter, 7.7% ash. It is known to contain 1.2% nitrogen and 1.57% sulfur. Its calorific value is 22 megajoules per kilogram. You're asked to determine A, the proximate analysis, B, the modified analysis, C, the ultimate analysis, D, the analysis of the volatile combustible matters, and E, the calorific value of the volatile combustible matters. So I've already placed in here the given on top and I've already created the table. So in letter A, you're being asked to solve for the proximate analysis. So the proximate analysis contains moisture, volatile combustible matter, or sometimes it's VM, ash, fixed carbon, and then all those four, the total should be 100%. So since you're already given, let's just fill out the table. This one would then be 103 so our basis is 100 grams or 100 kilograms so that's 10.3 volatile matter is 34% so that's 34 ash is given as 7.7% therefore by difference the fixed carbon should be 100 minus the sum of the first three so that gives us 48% fixed carbon so it's quite easy now you're asked also to solve for the modified analysis for letter b however for modified analysis the ones that we need to solve for are moisture carbon nitrogen sulfur net hydrogen combined water and ash giving us a total of 100 percent so let's try filling out what we can fill out so in here, let's just fill this out. That's 10.3. This is 34. The ash is 7.7. .7, and this is 48. Using the Caldrewood equation, we can see the empirical relationship among sulfur, volatile matter, and fixed carbon. So in here, we can actually solve for the percentage carbon. So let's use that. So 5.88 plus 2.206 plus the gross calorific value which is this one is i'll just write it in a different colored pen that's 22 megajoules per kilogram and then the percentage so far you're already given as 1.57 so let's just write the 1.57 in here the volatile matter that's given as 34 and the fixed carbon that we solved for earlier is 48. This one raised to 1.55. You'll be able to solve for the percent carbon in here as 54.25%. Now, we would also like to solve for the net hydrogen because according to here, to the table we also need the net hydrogen in order to solve for that we use the other empirical relation which is the Dulong's formula so let's try to input the given the gcv or the gross calorific value is 22 percentage carbon is the one that we just solved for 54.25 that's this and then this one i can say that Percent H minus 1 8 percentage O is actually what I say or what we call the net hydrogen as noted in here on the right. So plus 0 0.094 times percentage sulfur. So that's giving us 1.57. So using this relationship, you can actually solve for the net hydrogen. So the net hydrogen that we can solve for using this one is actually 2.5. 44%. So now that we have all the information that we need, let's try to fill out the table. The moisture that we have 
is 10.3. So plugging in everything that we have here, the moisture is 10.3%. The carbon that we just solved for is then 54.25. And then we have the nitrogen. It was given as 1.2. The sulfur is 1.57%. The net hydrogen, we just solved for that. That's 2.44. And then the combined water. Combined water is given as... So we need to solve for this. And then the ash. Ash is 7.7. .7. Alright, since we know that the total should be 100%, we can back calculate for the combined water. The combined water should be, by difference, it's 22.54. Okay? So that is the modified analysis. Now in here, so the modified analysis, let's just write, let's copy 10.3. Carbon would be 54.25. Nitrogen is 1.2. Sulfur is 1.57. Net hydrogen is 2.44. Combined water is 22.54. And then ash is 7.7. .7. So now you're asked to solve for the ultimate analysis. For the ultimate analysis, it's separated as chon as. So that's carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, ash, and sulfur. So for the sulfur, we don't have any problems. We can just plug in what we already know. 1.57. Nitrogen is 1.2. Carbon, that's um, 54.25. Our problem is um, hydrogen and oxygen. Ash, we already know that's 7.7. So hydrogen and oxygen actually comes from the combined water and the moisture so we have to solve for that so let's solve so we need to solve for the total hydrogen so the total hydrogen actually is coming from net hydrogen plus hydrogen in combined water and moisture so how do we solve for this? So hydrogen from combined water and moisture. Let's solve this first. This would then be 22.54. And then plus moisture is given as 10.3. So this is divided by 18, the molar mass of water, and then there's two hydrogens. So this is giving us 3.649 H coming from combined water and moisture only. Now, so that means the total hydrogen would be the net hydrogen that we solved for earlier, which is 2.44 plus 3.4. 649 it gives us a total of 6.09 so that means we have already a value for hydrogen here 6.09 and then oxygen you can actually solve for oxygen you know back calculating it but if you want to solve for oxygen you can so that's gonna be oxygen in combined water and moisture so let's just uh, fix this in combined water and moisture so this one would then be 22.54 just like how we solve for the hydrogen plus 10.3 multiplied by 16 over 18 that's going to be equal to 
point thirteen, which is what our answer here is twenty nine point thirteen. Then please check this should total one hundred percent. All right. So oxygen, as I have said, can be solved either using the same method as how we solve for hydrogen, or you can just subtract it from one hundred. So if you get this, this totals um ninety nine point nine something, roughly one hundred. So next is the analysis of the volatile combustible matter. So let's just copy the values that we have from the first table. So that's 10.3347748. So 10.3 and then 34. This is 7.7 .7. and then fixed carbon is 48. And then for the yellow 10.3 54.25, the nitrogen 1.2, 1.57, the net hydrogen we saw for that 2.44, the combined water is 22.54, and then ash is given as 7.7, .7. and then the last, the carbon is 54.25, the total hydrogen is 6.09, this is 29.13, nitrogen is 1.2, ash is 7.7, .7, and sulfur is 1.57. So you're asked to solve for the analysis of the volatile combustible matter. So the carbon in here, 54.25, is not the same as the carbon in the volatile combustible matter. So we have to solve for that. In order to solve for that, so C in the VCM is actually total carbon minus the fixed carbon. So the total carbon that we were able to solve for is 54.25 and then we have a fixed carbon from the proximate analysis of 48 that gives us 6.25. Therefore, that's the C in the VCM. Let's complete the table. This is 6.25 and then the net hydrogen we were able to solve for that 2.44 from the table. Combined water is 22.54. The nitrogen is 1.2 and sulfur is 1.57. So this gives us a total of 34 .0. And then when you check this one the 34.0 is actually the 34 from the volatile combustible matter. So it matches. That's the total weight. So let's solve for the percentages. The percentage here, this is 18.38. This is 7.18. This one gives us 66.29. This one is 3.53. And lastly, 4.23. 62 giving us a total of 100%. So this is the analysis of the volatile combustible matter. So in order to solve for the calorific value of the volatile combustible matter, that's CV of the coal times 100% coal minus CV of carbon times the percentage fixed carbon divided by the percentage of volatile combustible matter. So this one is given as 22 megajoules per kilogram times 100 kilograms of coal. CV of carbon is actually from the internet 32.8 times the fixed carbon, the fixed carbon from the previous page that is 48 all over percentage of volatile combustible matter. VCM is given as 34. So this gives us 18.4 megajoules per kilogram. So this is the final answer. So again, the solutions for these are, are quite straightforward. Uh, it would be better that you know what are needed, for example, for the um, proximate analysis, it's moisture, 
VCM, ash and fixed carbon. For the modified analysis, it's moisture, carbon, nitrogen, sulfur, net hydrogen, combined water, and ash. Whereas for the ultimate analysis, it's carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, ash, and sulfur. Alright, thank you very much. Good luck.